living life and not trying to do anything beyond yourself, to me, that's not living. Physically, I take a lot more risks than other people by doing this particular sport because I, I feel like I always have to live like actively in the moment and try to make myself a better person. My name is Daniel Rodriguez, and I practice human flight. I went to school in Cambridge, Massachusetts, MIT, and I studied computer science while I was there. After I graduated MIT, I did a lot of contract for various entertainment companies in Los Angeles. Two years ago, I noticed there was like blood in the toilet. Over time, got like a little bit more painful. Did a bunch of tests, and then one doctor referred me to another doctor, and then referred me to another doctor. And at that point, I knew something must be up. That's when my doctor told me I had cancer. didn't want to deal with a lot of the side effects that conventional treatment had in six weeks of radiation, three to four cycles of chemotherapy. And then on top of that, the surgery would basically give me a, a permanent colostomy, be pooping in the bag for the rest of my life. My first inspiration with wingsuiting was my brother sending me a video of these guys jumping a cliff in Norway. I knew this was something that I always wanted to do, and I just got hooked immediately. I was like, wow, this is something really amazing. I've got to figure out what I need to do to make that an activity that I can be a part of. You start going this way, you become base. And five years later, after skydiving, learning how to base jump and learning how to fly the wingsuit, I actually made my dream come true and put them together. You know, the first time you jump out and there's nothing holding you, you literally drop your arms and you extend your legs and you're just like Superman in the movies. There's no feeling like that. The sport is very dangerous. This isn't like a video game. You don't get a redo when you hit the mountain. I've definitely lost a few friends over the past year. And I've also lost people that I know like one or two degrees away. Last year alone, over 20 to 30 people died wingsuit base jumping. At the same time, you know, I have cancer, so it's like, okay, I mean, how, <laughs> how bad can this possibly be? I'm already gonna potentially die. One of the amazing things about the sport is it takes you to these remote areas that you typically wouldn't even go to. The adrenaline wears off after a while, and I think what keeps people in it is the fact that they can't think of anything else when they're doing these activities. They have to be completely in the moment. That's the beauty. It's like when you're in it, everything else goes away. Cancer was the last thing I was thinking about. towards this whole situation. I completely look at my job differently. I completely look at the time that I spent with my friends differently, the time I spent with my family differently. That time is more meaningful to me. Life is experience. The goal is the actual path that you take, the knowledge that you learn, the journey is, is the goal for me.